Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk about working with animation events inside of Unity 5.5. So right here I have the animation window open, which you can access by going to Window and Animation. Um, for any object you've selected that already has an animator attached to it, like if we go over to Screen Fader right here and open up the animator, you'll see it has a animation controller here. And uh, the combination of those two allows this to appear. Um, we have an event, uh, in, in, well, in this animation event, fade in, it's going to go from start to finish, and you can kind of see up there that it just fades in uh, by actually turning the alpha on the uh, background image from 1 to 0, because uh, it's just a black background. But how you would add a animation event in is uh, basically two ways. One is to select a part in the timeline and click add event over here and another is to right click an area of the timeline in this little gray area above your keyframes and do add animation event now just doing that is not enough it won't actually do anything initially uh, yes it's marked a part of your um, your animation timeline where an event would an animation event would trigger but we haven't actually set up what that is so with that selected you have to go over here to the inspector and select a function from the drop-down. Now, depending on what kind of object you have, you may see a lot here and you may not. Uh, this is actually, I believe, inheriting all of the methods that a um, basically like an image can go ahead and perform. But the ones we want to call is actually animation complete, which is a custom method I've set up for my screen fader class. So animation complete over here. You also notice uh, start fade with a uh, parameter or argument of fades, which is a uh, enum, and that's how I would start the event. But I wouldn't start the event in the animation. I would start that elsewhere in my code. But animation complete needs to trigger when the animation is complete, obviously. Um, so this would be where you'd put it in. And what this basically means is that when it reaches here, it's going to call this function in the code. Uh, animation complete, which is somewhere around here, which in this case sets is fading to false, uh, returns movement to the to the player, and under a special case, which is a fade battle victory, once the animation is complete, it lets the game know that the fight scene is complete and to return to the previous uh, scene, the RPG overworld scene. So that's just one example of what you can use animation events for. Um, it doesn't have to be uh, something like that. It could also be basically any function you have inside of that object, scripts included, can be used here. So if it has sprites, you'll see methods like get sprite and set sprite. Um, but yeah, any any custom script, uh, custom script functions that you've set up, you can also add that in like animation complete. Now, why would you do this? Well, for one thing, uh, generally an animation is going to be run as a coroutine. You can see all of these fade functions I have, or I enumerators, which means uh, I'm, I'm going to call them as a coroutine. And during those fades, it's actually going to yield return null, so it's just going to keep looping through this and yielding for the rest of the Unity code to proceed until the fade is complete. And this is important because animations do not occur on a single frame generally. So you don't want your fade functions or your animations to freeze up everything else in your code. And that's why you run them as a coroutine, so that they can do their own thing in the background while the rest of uh, your Unity game can run. So part of what this animation complete uh, function is actually doing is ending those coroutines, because while is fading will be false as soon as this animation event triggers. We can exit out of all of that and do the final stuff that needs to happen, like returning to a different game scene. So I hope that gives you a good idea of how to use animation events inside of your Unity 5.5 animations. I've been Chris. If you want to support the channel, I've got Patreon links down below. Greatly appreciated. And I will see you in my future content.